So President Trump made this very serious allegation. You're on the Senate Intelligence Committee. Do you have any evidence at all to suggest that President Trump is stating something factual here? By that, you, you mean the tweet yesterday about the uh, President Obama? Yes. Yeah, so obviously uh, I have no, I'm not sure what it is he is talking about. Perhaps the president has information that is not yet available to us or to the public. And if it's true, obviously we're going to find out very quickly. And if it isn't, then obviously he'll have to explain what he meant by it. So um, I, I don't, I'm not sure what the genesis of that statement was. But, uh, well, I imagine uh, we're going to learn more about it here over the next few days one way or the other. Do you think the FBI should clear it up one way or another? Well, that's also a difficult thing. I mean, the FBI does not uh, confirm either that there is or that there is not investigations. It does not talk about pending matters, either denying that they exist or admitting them. For the most part, that's been their practice. And I know it's a source of deep frustration for a lot of people, not just on this issue, but other issues in the past. But what I think we should do is everybody needs to take a deep breath and, and calm down here. And let's go through this of what we are doing. In the Senate Intelligence Committee, we are working in a bipartisan way to collect facts that involves reviewing classified and sometimes unclassified and open source information. We will issue a report to the Senate that will be available to the American people, and then people can form judgments on the basis of the collection of facts. That is what we are undertaking. I remain confident that the Senate Intelligence Committee is going to produce a document built on the facts that will allow people to reach judgments based on the facts. And that's what we should be doing in something like this. The White House counsel right now is trying to figure out what they can release from the top secret FISA court in their effort to provide some sort of evidence to the president's tweets. Does it concern you at all, the White House counsel's office theoretically reaching out to the FISA courts to find out what they can release because of these tweets? Well, I'm not familiar with the conversation that you're saying is taking place between the White House and FISA courts. I will say to you that um, this entire issue has is, is reached the point now where so much of it's being litigated in the press. I can tell you that there are things being reported that are not true. I can tell you there are things out there that have been reported that are true. And in between all of that is where we are working in the Senate Intelligence Committee to gather facts. We're not a court. In essence, the Senate Intelligence Committee is not a law enforcement entity. We are reviewing everything that has happened, and primarily with a focus on the active measures that were undertaken uh, by Russians or others in our, campaign, in our campaigns in 2016, we're going to compile that into a report that will be released to our colleagues and to the American people. And I would just hope people would reserve judgment on these things until all of that is available. I know it's frustrating. We all want it to be available tomorrow. But this needs to be done in the right way, and, and that's what uh, we're going to continue to work on. And I, I truly, I feel confident that it's going to be a document and a report that will be bipartisan and accurate.